watching Chris 6 News Sunrise. Welcome back. 6.45 on this Thursday morning. Mike, it's been almost a week already since Harvey hammered the Texas coast, leaving widespread de devastation. And yet, as Chief Investigative Reporter Rick Spruill discovered, those in Port Aransas continue to find ways to make everyone affected smile. Chef Billy Joe Wilson feels a debt to Port Aransas. You know, they've supported me and my family and my staff for three years, and we plan on being here 30 more at least. And now he's paying it back. Wilson owns this place. It's called Eats, and it's on Allister Street. It's one of few Port Aransas eateries now with a working kitchen. Wilson could make big money selling plates, but he isn't doing that. This chef's food is free as long as it lasts. Everybody has a plan, chance to come out and eat and take a break and uh, get a hug, get a cup of coffee, meet your neighbors again, and, you know, let's rebuild. Just a warm meal in a shaded room where those hardest hit have a reason to smile again. We got each other. For Wilson, it's just a way to serve inside a tiny Texas town bound together by something bigger than any of them imagine. I got to get back. I mean, this is, you know, this is what we do. We're, we're Port A strong. We're a community. We, we, we pick each other up. We dust them off. And, you know, I can't swing a hammer, but I can cook a meal, and that's what we're trying to do. Just doing what you can do, right? Yeah. Rick Spruill, Chris 6 News. All right, another great example of people helping people, Mike. Uh, we are definitely Coastal Bend strong, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, as you heard there, just doing what you can do. Hey, stick around. We're back right after this.